The Trump Organization was found guilty on all 17 counts, including criminal tax fraud, conspiracy and falsifying business records. The damning verdict comes after a three-year investigation by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. The conviction centered on Trump Org providing lavish perks to its executives, including luxury apartments, cars and cash bonuses, without paying taxes on any of these over a 15-year period. Former Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg pleaded guilty in August to financial crimes. Prosecutors say Trump signed off on the tax fraud, though the former president was not charged in the case. Trump and his children are still facing a separate civil fraud suit by New York Attorney General Letitia James. The House committee investigating the January 6th insurrection says it'll make criminal referrals to the Justice Department. It's not known whether Trump will be one of them. The committee is expected to release its final report by Christmas. In related news, lawmakers gathered in the Capitol Rotunda Tuesday to award congressional gold medals to the Capitol Police and the D.C. Metropolitan Police for their actions on January 6th. This is chief of the D.C. Metropolitan Police, Robert Conti. Many of us still carry the physical, mental, and emotional scars after that mob of thousands launched a violent assault in an attempt to halt the counting of electoral ballots. The sound of metal poles and other objects striking the bodies, helmets, and shields may still ring loudly. During the ceremony, the family of deceased officer Brian Sicknick refused to shake hands with House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy or Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell. Sicknick had two strokes and died one day after the January 6th attack. The special counsel investigating Trump sent grand jury subpoenas to officials in Arizona, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, asking for any communications with the former president, his campaign, and his associates. Special counsel Jack Smith was appointed last month by Attorney General Merrick Garland to lead probes into Donald Trump's role in the Capitol insurrection, as well as whether Trump mishandled classified materials. The Supreme Court is hearing arguments today in Moore v. Harper, a pivotal election case which legal experts warn could upend the electoral process in the United States and threaten democracy. The case centers on the independent state legislature theory and seeks to hand state legislatures near total authority in voting issues, overriding courts, governors, and state constitutions. The case was brought by North Carolina Republican lawmakers after state state courts struck down their illegally gerrymandered congressional maps. A federal judge sentenced Michael Avenatti to 14 years in prison, ordered him to pay $11 million in restitution for stealing millions of dollars from his clients and obstructing the IRS's efforts to collect taxes on his business. Avenatti, best known for representing adult film star Stormy Daniels in her case against Trump, is already serving a five-year sentence for two other convictions. Prosecutors say Avenatti stole from his clients to pay for personal luxuries, including a private jet. 